The last technical thing that I want to teach you about Flash, at least for this project, okay, is something called scenes. If you are in animator mode, okay, so make sure you're set in animator mode, you will notice over here there is a little palette called scenes and you have a couple of options here. Number one, add scene. Number two, duplicate scene or delete scene. Scenes are essentially a way of cutting to a different shot, at least as far as the animation is concerned. So for instance, if I want to do a close-up or I want to change my views or my angles, I can do that by adding a scene. Now there's two important things that, are, are, that you need to know. Um, <coughs> number one, excuse me, the scenes go in order not by name, but by ever, however order you drag them in. So even though this one says scene two, if I put it at the top, it's going to play first. Now right now there's nothing in there. Okay, the second thing is that any symbol that you use, if it's a copy or the same symbol as whatever's in scene one, if you make changes to that symbol, you will make changes to the symbol in scene one as well. So you have to be very, 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 very careful. Let me illustrate this point. So, let's back up here. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure why my library and stuff all dropped down here, but I like to work like this. Okay, so I've got my, my runner um, here, okay? And that's the same symbol that's being used in scene one. So what I can do is I can drop him in to scene two, make him a little bigger because we're going to do a close-up, right? And let's say, let's let, this, um, let's let this run about 80 or 90 frames. I can put a motion tween on him. And what, I, what could be really fun is if I'm really doing a close-up, I could... Uh, I could just have him bouncing up and down maybe, so up, down, up, down. And I'm going to actually do this a couple of times so that it's a little bit more uh, varied. And then I can take these. Um, And this option drag. Oh, look at that. Now, here's what's cool. I, now, I don't have a background yet, okay? So just, you know, be patient here. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Ah, forget it. We'll just stop there. Remove frames. Okay. So now watch, I'm going to go test, I'm going to go to my uh, test, movie, um, <clears throat> test. So then it's going to go to scene one, and then it's going to cut to scene two. I think that's a, that looks a little, it's not synchronized with his running. <clears throat> so let's just, that's easy, we'll just stretch it out here, right? Let's see how that looks. That's better. And now I can make the trees and stuff moving past him and, and do all that. But here's the cool thing. <clears throat> yeah, I know. He's kind of, he's got a, he's got a little bit of groove when he's running there. That's it's, it's, it's nice. He's, it, it's, he's got some swagger. Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway, what that allows you to do is it allows you to like cut to a close up or do something like that. But here's what I really want to show you. If... I decide that I don't like the run or I want to change the run or I want to change something. Here's the danger, okay? If I go in, double click on him in scene two, and let's just say I clear all my poses, okay? I'm just going to clear them all, okay? Now when I go to test movie, I also just ruined the symbol in scene one as well. 
So this is the one really, really important thing that you need to understand is anything that's done inside a symbol, those animations, those symbols float between scenes. So if you change something in scene two, and in scene two you have the same symbol that you have in scene one, you have now changed the symbol in scene one as well. Does that make sense? They're not separate animations. They're not separate symbols. If I wanted to change that, okay, let's undo this. <clears throat> what I would probably be best to do here is take my runner and duplicate it. And I'll call it runner scene two. Now we'll call this guy runner scene one. Now I can go into the runner scene two. Well, first, what I'll do, oh, he's thinking, <clears throat> is in scene two, I'll click, I'll go to the properties tray, and I'll click the swap button. And then what I can do here is I can change that to runner scene two. So I just click OK. Doesn't look like anything, but now he's actually the second symbol. So I can double click on him now, <clears throat> and now I can go through, clear these poses and do a whole new animation and it won't affect scene one. But you see the bouncing animation that I did on the motion tween, that's still there, but the poses, the running animation that was inside the symbol is now gone just because I created a duplicate symbol. However, one last word of warning. Be careful though because the symbols that are inside the runner for scene two are the same symbols as runner scene one. So even though I've changed the animation here in the inverse kinematics, if I were to then double click again and get into the symbol, let's just do something ridiculous here. So I'm just going to take a brush, a little bit of blue. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I then go to scene one, you can see that that symbol has changed. Even though the animation is different, that's the runner symbol. The forearm symbol is the same for both scenes. So if I wanted to change an article of clothing or I wanted to change something that was in those symbols, I'd have to make duplicates and swap them out so that everything is different in scene two. It can get a little complicated, so I caution you, okay? But if you're finished, but you can see your animation going a little bit further, I will give bonus points for somebody who uses a second scene to cut into the action, to make a punchline to a joke, or to, you know, to, to do a funny little thing at the end of your animation with a second or a third scene. However, you must be careful, because the, if you make changes to a symbol, I can't say this enough times, if you make changes to a symbol in scene two, it will alter scene one. Now, just to illustrate my point as well, I'm going to flip-flop scene two and scene one here. So scene two is on top. Let's test our movie. And you'll notice now that the order changes. So you must be very careful to realize that it has no effect whatsoever. The, the names of the, of the scenes have no effect whatsoever on the order that they play. But it is kind of cool. Basically what you're doing is you're cutting to a new camera, in quotes, okay? Or a new shot, in quotes, just like in a movie where they cut and they move to a camera that's a close-up or a different angle or whatever. Let me ask you one last question. So let's say we wanted to move to a front view of this guy as he's running towards us. Could I duplicate the same symbol? No. I'd have to start all over again to build him basically from the front. Okay? So there's a lot of work that might be, you know, <clears throat> introduced into that if you wanted to change angles dramatically. However, what I could do <clears throat> is flip him and have him going the other way. I don't know why. And that's generally actually supposed to be against the rules. You're never supposed to flip camera shots 100 or 300 or 180 degrees like that. You're not supposed to do that because it's considered bad form. The guy's moving from right to left. If the, all of a sudden you see him moving left to right, the inference there is that he has turned around and is now going back the other direction. If that's what you want him to do, then great. But the idea is you never want to just say, okay, now the camera's on the other side of the road. 
and he's going from left to right, but he's actually running in the same direction, that's confusing because you have him going the different direction on the screen. And so people are kind of like, whoa, what, what direction is he going in? I don't understand anymore. You see, there's a continuity issue there that's really big in film and animation. But it's kind of a cool technique. Add scenes, you can make new shots, you can use the same symbols. Any questions? Okay, that's it.